Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kumit and I am here with my new video tutorial series. And in this video tutorial series, I will be going to explain about LWC components. I'll teach you LWC components and I will tell you every fundamental knowledge about LWC components. That how do we create LWC components? What are the features of LWC components? How do we create and deploy LWC components? What's the benefit of using LWC components and various other functionalities of LWC components that we are going to cover up in this tutorial series. So first of all, let me give you a quick overview about LWC. You might, and most of you have heard this LWC was introduced by Salesforce. And basically, LWC stands for Lightning Web Components. It's a programming model and a component-based framework that is used to build the user interfaces in Salesforce platform. LWC is built on the web standards. That's why it's a lightweight, it's fast as comparative to Aura. And it uses the modern web technologies such as JavaScript and HTML. And if we talk about the key features of LWC, so the key features of LWCs are it's a lightweight, like as I mentioned, event-driven architecture. It can uh, it can allow us to communicate with other using events. It is secure, integration friendly. It can integrate it with other technologies such as Apex, Aura components, and third-party libraries. And it's a developers friendly. So overall, LWC empowers developers to build modern, responsive, and customizable user interfaces for their Salesforce platform. So in today's session, I will be going to explain you, I will be going to tell you that how do we prepare the environment to design and to deploy a LWC company. And in order to do this, Two things we require. First of all, the number one, you should have the Salesforce Developer Edition. And number two, you need to download and install Visual Studio Code. So I have both, uh, like I get both the things with me. So I, I'm already using Salesforce Developer Edition. I've already registered on Developer's platform. So just in case if you are not familiar where to register, so then what you can do, you can visit developer dot dot salesforce dot com and you can sign up here so you can visit developer dot force dot com and you can register here on developer dot dot com you can sign up for a trial account browse trials and you can register for a developer setting so sign up here and re uh, register for a salesforce developers edition that is the first step. Number two, we required a Visual Studio Code. So in my case, I have already installed Visual Studio Code. So as you can see, this is the Visual Studio Code. So I have already downloaded and installed Visual Studio Code. But anyway, I will be going to give you the links. I will uh, I will share the links in the description from where you can download the supporting libraries in order to uh, in order to create. Uh, lightning web component. So before we begin, the first step is we need to download and install CLI. So basically we required Salesforce CLI for, uh, we require Salesforce CLI for so you have to visit this URL in order to download the Salesforce CLI in order to design and in order to develop the Lightning Web component on Visual Studio. Now, what exactly the Salesforce CLI is? This Salesforce CLI is a powerful command line interface that simplifies development and build automation when working with your Salesforce model. So it helps to create, it helps to design and develop the Lightning Web components along with the Aura components, or we can create other, comp we can create classes and uh, other functionalities, and then we can deploy them onto Salesforce. So this Salesforce CLI is required. So what you can do, you need to download it 
so based on your operating system according to your operating system you can download this so in my case i will be using windows operating system it's a 64 bit so i'll click on this and i'll download it and once you download this salesforce cli you have to install this and once your salesforce is installed you can quickly verify whether your salesforce cli has been installed successfully or not and in order to do this you can open command prompt and in command prompt and in command form, you can check, type a command called SFDX. And if the Salesforce CLI is installed successfully, it will uh, it will give you this kind of information. And it also gives you the version which has been in installed. So as you can see, the Salesforce CLI is installed in my case, in my system. And the version I'm using here is the Node version 18.51.15.0. It's a Windows 32 x 64 version. So, uh, the Salesforce CLI installed successfully. After that, what I do, I download and install Visual Studio Code. So you need to download and install Visual Studio Code. And in order to download Visual Studio Code, you can visit this URL. I'll share both the links in the description. You can follow the link in order to download the uh, download it. And again. Based on your update system, you can download it. So I have already downloaded and installed my Visual Studio Code in my in my system. So as you can see, the Visual Studio Code I have already installed successfully. That's my Visual Studio Code. That's my Visual Studio Code. So like this way, you have to set up your code. You have to get, you have to prepare your platform. And once your platform is ready, we will be about to begin. We'll be about to design. We are ready to create a lightning web component. And in order to do this, we need to follow the second video, the second session. In second session, I will be going to explain you how to create a lightning web component using visual studio code and salesforce cli and what all other extensions will be needed to configure and install so that's all in this session one in today's session if you have any questions or any queries you can post your questions in comment box or you can reach out to us you can write to us or reach out to us on uh, info at the rate aitech1.com. You can visit our website or you can contact to us on the given number. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching. See you in session two. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.